So at home workouts, um, you know, everyone's trying to stay away from everyone. Um, I'm just gonna go over three, kind of hit everything. I'm gonna go upper body, lower body, um, and a little bit of balance and coordination, all right? Upper body, working a little bit on mobility as well, right? Start up tall, you're gonna walk your hands out, push up, try to keep your legs straight as you walk your hands back in. Everyone's mobility is gonna be a little bit different. So if you can only get your hands here before your knees start to bend, that's as far as you come back, all right? So again, inchworm, push up. All right, I would recommend doing five up to eight reps. And then you can superset it with the next exercise, all right? We're gonna go lateral lunge, all right? Big step out, right? Sit your hips back, make sure to watch this knee, make sure it's not coming in, right? Make sure you're not pushing forward. All right, big lunge out, hips go back, knee over your toe, come back up. All right, you can get all on one side or you can alternate to the other side. All right, I would recommend again, five or eight on each side. Last exercise, probably one of my favorites, single leg RDL, all right? Balance, coordination, control. Opposite hand, touches opposite foot. Back up, all right? If you can do it without letting this foot touch the ground, do so, but don't get crazy off balance, all right? Nice control, good posture, back up, all right? There's a slight bend in this leg, I'm not locking it out. Slight bend, balance, back up, control back down, all right? A lot of balance coordination evolved with the core as well, all right? So you can superset those three exercises, inchworm push-up, lateral lunge, Single leg RDL, five to eight reps, three or four rounds, up to you.